Okay, I am here at the corner of Southwest Traffic Way and 39th Street in Midtown Kansas City. And this is the problem. This is the issue we're here today for. That right there is a um, photo um, ticketing system. And so what they're doing is they're waiting for anybody to break the white line um, where the cars are parked there and then they illuminate with that big strobe light up top, if you can see it. Um, they illuminate with that to take a photo of your license plate, and then they mail the ticket to the registered owner of the car. Now, there's a couple problems with this. One is that it assumes guilt, um, because they are making no attempt whatsoever to determine who the actual driver of the car is. They just assume the registered owner is the guilty party. The other part of this is that this is being run by a private company, not by the municipality. It looks like a private company collects the funds and then they pay some of that back to the city. But the biggest problem, again, is that you have um, them making an accusation, assuming guilt against uh, the registered owner of the car. And, they, and again, they make no attempt whatsoever to, to take a picture of the driver to determine who is driving the car. And therefore this is being fought in court as potentially unconstitutional. Now, this again, this is 39th Street and Southwest Traffic Way in Midtown Kansas City. There are two other locations I know of that I've seen, uh, that's 79th and Warnell, and then when you exit um, 435 going east um, on Warnell Street, you'll also see a, a photo ticketing light there. And you can see that it doesn't really look like a friendly device, does it? And I've also heard that there are three more of these on Highway 71, although I haven't seen them myself. So I'm here to report on this photo ticketing system and the issues involved around it. Um, again, being run by a, by a company, a private enterprise, which is partnering with the municipality to collect fees, assuming guilt without any... Um, uh, you know, if they, if they, the argument on their side is that they're concerned about traffic safety. And, you know, you, I can understand that concern, but if that is truly a concern, then you would put a uniformed officer here who would stop cars that make illegal entry into the intersection, and then um, you would ticket them. However, that's not what's happening here, because if it were, then the actual person that committed the offense, the alleged offense, would be the one ticketed. But with this, they're automatically assuming the registered owner of the car is the uh, guilty party. And they're also assuming guilt. I mean, you're getting a ticket um, mailed to you. So this is, you know, again, there's a group of people that are arguing that this is unconstitutional and they're trying to get these type of monstrosities uh, dismantled. And we do need to get rid of them. The city of Kansas City um, already collects a 1% income tax on everybody in the city. You know, most cities don't do that. And so they're already uh, should have plenty of money to run the municipality. So therefore, if this is a... Uh, an additional attempt, if this is indeed an additional attempt to generate revenue, regardless of, uh, not, and not really about, quote, traffic safety, unquote, um, then why do they need this? I mean, uh, you know, why not reduce the size of government? Now, that's a novel concept. They are collecting enough revenue. There shouldn't be a need for this additional uh, collection of revenue. And again, what they're doing is assuming guilt and and that the person who owns the car is actually the person that, that committed the offense of entering the traffic uh, intersection on a red light. Therefore, this is, uh, well, it's more or less unfair, isn't it? And again, this is uh, 39th Street and Southwest Traffic Way in Kansas City, Missouri.